零二三年第廿二、第廿三條 MC 咧，係有關以下三款生物嘅互動嘅，咁啊分別係呢個黃蜂 P 啦、毛蟲 Q 啦，同埋病毒 R 嘅。咁而家題目咧就問啦，黃蜂 P 咧就會喺毛蟲 Q 嘅體內咧就產卵嘅。咁當啲卵孵化嘅時候咧，黃蜂嘅幼蟲就會進食咗毛蟲嘅身體組織，到最後咧就殺死咗條毛蟲噶啦。咁近嚟嘅研究顯示呢，原來黃蜂呢係個病毒 R 嘅宿主嚟㗎喎，而呢個病毒嘅 DNA 呢，就會同黃蜂嘅基因呢就會結合，同埋傳俾黃蜂嘅下一代嘅。而當黃蜂喺個毛蟲體內產卵嘅時候呢，原來個病毒 R 呢都會跟住黃蜂嘅卵呢就進入咗毛蟲嘅體內。而因為頭先嗰句有講到㗎嘛。病毒嘅 DNA 就同黃蜂嘅基因結合咗，就傳咗俾黃蜂嘅下一代。而呢啲病毒 R 咧係幾時發揮作用呢？原來啦，佢就會抑制咗毛蟲嘅身體防衞機制，從而就保護咗黃蜂嘅卵啦。咁跟住以上呢個情況啦，題目就問我哋咯，下面邊一句呢？係能夠正確描述到佢哋嘅餵食角色嘅？即係個食性嘅層次啦，係咪 trophic level 啦？咁呢個題目咧就考翻我哋啦。喂，究竟啦呢三款生物佢哋嘅生態互動係如何咧？同埋啦，呢、這個題目由於講緊 feeding role 餵食嘅層次、餵食嘅角色咧，我哋就要寫翻一條可能嘅食物鏈出嚟啦。咁個黃蜂幼蟲根據故事嚟講，佢就係食毛蟲嘅。咁啊，毛蟲嘅能量就傳俾黃蜂幼蟲啦，係咪？咁毛蟲食咩㗎？毛蟲食葉，是常識吧？係咪？好咁，根據呢個邏輯啦，我哋就逐一擊破咯。第一句呢，佢就講啦，病毒係最高嘅消費者。實質呢一樣嘢呢，喺個故事入面我哋係唔知道嘅。究竟病毒係餵食個黃蜂啊，係餵食個毛蟲啊，定係餵食啲乜嘢呢？我哋毛蟲得知，所以 A 呢，就唔會答案啦。跟住去到 B 咯，佢就話毛蟲呢係生產者，哇唔係啊嘛，毛蟲係生產者，毛蟲識得整嘢食嘅咩？佢都唔識，佢識得光合作用咩？冇可能啊啩，咁所以啦，毛蟲呢係唔能夠自己識得整嘢食，所以佢冇可能係生產者咯。去到 C 啦。成年黃蜂呢，就係、是、初級消費者喺整個故事入面呢，我哋知道黃蜂嘅幼蟲食乜，但我哋唔知道成年嘅黃蜂究竟食乜嘢嘅。咁所以啦 ，C 呢都係錯嘅。嚟咁即係答案呢，就係 D 咯。黃蜂嘅幼蟲呢，佢就係初級嘅消費者啦。點解呀？睇返我頭先我哋嗰條食物鏈啦，毛蟲就食葉嘅，葉呢，就係、是、生產者。毛蟲呢，就係、是、初級嘅消費者，咁而家黃蜂嘅幼蟲就食毛蟲啊嘛，咁所以佢就係次級嘅消費者啦。即係 two to three question twenty two to twenty three refer to the information about the interaction of three organism, including wasp p, caterpillar q, and virus r. Wasp p will lay egg inside the caterpillar q, and when the egg hatch. The web's larva will feed on the body tissue of the caterpillar and kill them eventually. In the recent research, shows that these webs are the host of the virus R, and the viral DNA becomes part of the web's genome and passed to the web's offspring. Therefore, when the webs inject their egg into the caterpillar, the virus R will also enter the body of the caterpillar, and the virus R will protect the egg. By suppressing the caterpillar's body defense mechanism, so based on this situation, which of the following correctly describe their feeding roles, the trophic level? So we need to determine the ecological relationship among webs p, caterpillar q, and virus r, and then we need to construct the possible food chain because we are talking about the feeding roles, the trophic level. Based on the case. Web's larva will feed on caterpillar, so the energy will flow from caterpillar to the web's larva. And then for the caterpillar, what do they feed on? They feed on the leaves. It is the common sense, right? Um. So let's go through A, B, C, D. So let's see which one is the answer. Option A. The virus is the top consumer. It's not true because in this case we do not know that what does the virus feed on. We don't know that they feed on the webs or feed on the caterpillar at all. We don't know. We have no information. Therefore, we cannot draw the conclusion for option A. And then for option B, the caterpillar is the producer. This statement is basically wrong itself because the caterpillar they cannot produce the food by themselves. Can they undergo the photosynthesis? Surely they cannot. 
Therefore, the caterpillar is not the producer. And then for option C, the web's adult is the primary consumer. We also don't know what the web's adult feed on. We know that the web's larva, they feed on the caterpillar. But what do the web's adults feed on? We don't have such information. Therefore, option C is also wrong. And then for option D, it is the answer. The web's larva is the secondary consumer. How do we know that? Because for the caterpillar, they are feeding on the leaves. And for the leaves, surely they are the producer. And then the caterpillar, they are the primary consumer. So because the web's larva, they are feeding on the caterpillar, they are the secondary consumer. And that's the concept.